the Michigan milestone. It was 35 years ago the Department of Transportation opened the Zilwaukee Bridge. Back then, the state spent $120 million to build it, but design problems and long delays left everyone uncertain it would ever get done and used. Local 4's Rob Maloney is here tonight with a look back at the bridge's tenuous start and even takes us for a first ever look inside the bridge. Well, I'm in my vest and my hard hat out here because we're on the on-ramp to the Zilwaukee Bridge. And my oh my, is it a busy one? 21 million vehicles a year go over, and it has a storied history. Now, we know that the Mackinac Bridge, which is a little longer, has its own rich history. But controversially, in the 80s, this became the most expensive bridge the state ever built. It took 10 years to complete, and it came this close to not opening at all. To Michiganders, this massive overpass means... Oh, my kids get really excited. The first time I went over, I went over to the motorcycle in the pouring rain, and it was really scary. It's like a roller coaster to them. It tells me that I'm leaving lower Michigan and entering a new world. Start a vacation. <laughs> the Zilwaukee Bridge exists as an alternative to the federal government's original I-75 design. The four-lane highway crossed the Saginaw River as, if you can believe it, a draw bridge. Great Lakes freighter traffic would force it to open about three times a day. Many Michigan seniors like Tom Fleischer of West Bloomfield remember the signs warning. We had to wait in line, the draw bridge was opening, and we would hope that it wasn't opening when we were there. In 1978, the first shovels went into the ground to build high enough to allow high-speed traffic and freighters to better coexist. But in August 1982, after more than half of the Z-Bridge had taken shape, disaster struck. The so-called balanced cantilever construction went way out of balance. Former MDOT chief bridge engineer Matt Chinowith explains. There were engineering calculations done that said this needs to be here and this load needs to be here and this counterweight needs to be here and it simply was not followed. From Sky 4, this is what the construction calamity looked like. A midnight crew scrambled to safety as an overloaded thousand foot long bridge section shook, buckled and sagged, teetering in the breeze on a support column. The whole segment instantly sank five feet lower than the section they were attempting to attach it to. Already way over budget and long behind schedule. Chinuith says fixing this mess took an engineering effort on a scale with designing an entirely new bridge. We lifted and tilted and jacked it back into place. We froze the ground below the pier. We abandoned the footing in place because the footing was completely destroyed. So it's a new footing that was built over the old footing and that is anchored down into bedrock. That setback took two years and six million more unbudgeted dollars. There were discussions about abandoning the entire project in place. The state fired the original contractors and the constant Z-Bridge problems started getting heat from angry Lansing legislators. Yet, five years later than expected, on December 23rd, 1987, the first vehicles crossed the northbound side. The southbound side opened the next summer. Now, the Zilwaukee Bridge has a unique feature that you probably didn't know about. We are in the maintenance tunnel, the box that runs underneath the entire length of the bridge. Maintenance people use it as a corridor to make sure that the bridge is all in good repair and they ride up and down in these electric carts. Perhaps more amazing is that it's only about 12 inches of concrete that separates us from cars, trucks, and even semis. Indeed, the Z-Bridge is a marvel in that it's just a bit shorter than the Mackinac Bridge and much wider. It has 1,592 concrete segments weighing about 160 tons each. They're held together with a staggering 20,000 miles of steel cable. It's just amazing. It really needs structure. And the engineers tell me that it's 35 years old and in excellent health, and it ought to be, and it needs to be. They're telling me they need it to last another 50 or 60 years, because right now, if they were to try and replace it today, it will cost a billion dollars, and there is no appetite in Lansing to do that again. Back to you. Rod, I give you total credit for going inside that bridge. That was cool. That was very cool. <laughs> I do have to ask, though, how often do they inspect the Z-Bridge? 
Well, you know, they every two years they do the, the, the regular inspection, make sure everything's okay. But every four years they do the deep dive where they go into every little crack and make sure that there is no problem there. One of the other things about that bridge is in the summertime when the sun hits it, it expands by eight feet wow. front wow. to back. Hmm, lots of cool trivia there. Yeah, Thanks, Rod. Appreciate it. All right. Thank you, Rod.